Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have uh, almost done with the interior of this particular exhibition stall over here. So few things are left which we will be doing over here, which will be covering it up. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, uh, I'll just create few of the things which is left out. So let's just go over here and let's create one mirror. So we can just create a mirror over here. So whatever stuff is visible to us will be just modeling that over here. So if it is visible we can just create that slightly just shuffle it over here. Convert to editable poly. Select the polygons. Slightly just push it inside. Go over here. Select the polygons and let's give a bit of inset. And slightly extrude a bit, push it inside over here. So select this push it a bit out all right we'll just keep it as it is now what I'll be doing is like let's select this lamp and we'll just mirror it in y axis over here let's just push it over here because very few things are left in the modeling stuff so the things which are left will just do that slightly I'll just place it a bit inside so there is not that much of space we can create this if you want we can create that so if you want we need to again uh, push this a bit till here for creation of that so again I have to shuffle it in this way till here push it till here all right so let's just select this and slightly we'll shuffle it because we don't have a clean reference so it's going to definitely create such problems so if you have a clean reference you can definitely go with that so let's uh, save the file Let's take a cylinder over here and slightly just push this up till here. So increase its sides over here and reduce its height segments, reduce its height. So convert to editable poly select the polygons slightly we can scale it as required over here so if you want I can go into this and let's take a line I'll just create a shape like this and let's give a modifier called lift modifier so let's just 
assign a lathe modifier and slightly I'll shuffle it over here. So let's again go into the line, uh, activate this if you want you can slightly just push this inside. You can add some refine, you want some details. You can right click on it, let's give a bezel, bezel corner also you can give. So if you give corner it's going to make it more rough. So you can, you can adjust it or make it smooth. can do such changes if required alright now I'll just place it in this way let's go over here we'll make some basic chairs so we can just go into this and let's take a box like this and even if you don't want to go with a box what I can do is I can just take a rectangle so let's just take a rectangle convert to editable spline slightly you can just select this make this as a corner push it a bit inside push it a bit inside in this way select this and let's go into this and let's give a bit of fillet to it so I can give a sign of fillet over here and let's give an extrude modifier so we can just assign an extrude modifier over here So let's convert to editable poly, select this both and slightly I'll just insert it. So we can just insert that, you can slightly push this inside and what I can do is I can just extrude a bit very less and let's click OK. So once this is done over here, so we can just uh, create the base stuff that can also be created in the same way so let's again take a rectangle over here now now uh, I can again go over here convert to editable spline select this slightly I'll push it inside slightly push it inside give a bit of fillet so we can slightly assign a fillet and let's give extrude modifier in this way so we can do that and now what I can do is like I can just go over here I can just take a line and you can put a curve over here shuffle it over here in this way so select the vertices push this up in this way So I'll just slightly shuffle it over here, enable in viewport, 
uh, we can if you want you can just uh, connect it with that if required so you have to make sure if you want to connect it you should have the correct segments over here then only we can connect that stuff so for now I'll just keep it uh, I'll just place it normally because this is uh, a bit far over here it won't be visible so it's better we'll just place this stuff in this way so we can just go over here and slightly hierarchy effect pivot only I'll put the pivot point over here I can slightly rotate it from the end over here in this way convert to poly select it go into this give a bit of bevel over here alright so select the polygons slightly give inset over here in this way so we can just select the segments over here Because the segments are a bit, you know, a bit different, the shapes are different. So we have to adjust it accordingly. All right, I'll just extrude it accordingly. So although this is going to be far, so that's totally okay if you're also creating very basic stuff over here so I can just scale it if required if you see this this is going to be placed so I'll just uh, group this stuff let's just give a color to it so let's just scale it shuffle it up rotate it so place it over here I'll go into the hierarchy I'll just set the pivot point over here to the center of this table rotate it you can make multiple copies all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.